بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک امپلیمنٹ رول پلینگ ڈائمینشنس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ڈیزائن اینڈ امپلیمنٹ اے ڈیٹا ماڈل ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو ویئر وی ہیڈ اے ڈیٹیل لک ایٹ دا ڈیٹا ماڈلنگ وی ہیڈ اے لک ایٹ دا ریلیشن شپس بٹوین دا ڈائمینشن ٹیبلس اینڈ فیکٹ ٹیبلس اینڈ وی سو دیٹ in the example that we had a calendar table and then we had two fact tables and we created a relationship between the dates and in one of those fact tables we had an active relationship and an inactive relationship so role playing dimensions is just uh, another way of doing the same thing where instead of using the active and inactive relationships we create more tables and all of those tables are a copy of the date table and then we use the normal relationship so now let's go and explore this role playing dimension so in the last example we saw something similar like this where we had a calendar table and we had a fact table and then we created two relationships between dates so here it is shown in this particular figure there are three relationships between the date key and then we have here the due date key the order date key and then we have the ship date key and the relationship which is active is this one which is the order date key this this one and the other two are inactive so we had a look at a similar example in the last video where we had just two of these relationship one was active and the other one was inactive so what a role playing the dimension does is that a role playing dimension is a dimension that can filter related facts differently so what happens it is that instead of having just one date table so we create three date tables so the solution is that instead of having this one active and two inactive relationships you can have three tables all of these are date tables and you connect the each date table with one key in your fact table so these three dimensions which which are the date table ship date and delivery date table these are called the role playing dimensions so here like we saw in the example the date dimension table has three relationships to the reseller sales fact table the same dimension table can be used to filter the facts by order date ship date or delivery date so we said that we are going to uh, talk about this filtering concept in more detail once we are in the dax but just keep this thing in mind that these relationships represent the filter the path of the filters that the, that uh, flow in the data model so here it says that the same dimension table is used to create the relationships so we have a scenario where we can use the role playing dimensions and we can create multiple date tables so here it says that creating the multiple date tables where each date table is acting as a dimension for a different role so here each date table is playing a different role here it is playing the role of the due date here the ship date and here the delivery date so what is the advantage of using this so the advantage of using this is that all of these are active relationships so if we have a data model then it allows simultaneous filtering by the different date roles so instead of creating uh, active relationship and several inactive relationships by using the role playing dimensions we can enable the active relationships for all of these and this allows simultaneous filtering by the different date roles which can be a requirement for certain reports or for certain projects that you are working in where you feel that okay i do not um, uh, you know i cannot work with an active relationship and multiple inactive relationships i need all the relationships to be active at the same time so that i can perform the filtering at the same time so this can be done through the role playing dimensions so this was a very short topic uh, just keep this uh, uh, very basic thing in mind the difference between the active inactive and the role playing dimensions so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next one